I would like to show you the new feature Team Drives inside of your Google Drive. So when you open up your drive, you will now see over here on the left hand side, located under My Drive, you will see Team Drives. So when I open this, um, I already have a folder in here that we were working with. I'm going to go to New and I'm going to start a, a new folder that I'm going to share with several people. One of the first things you'll notice is, see these graphics up here? This is something that can be customized. So you'll be able to go in and put different images for your folders that will help be able to identify them quickly. So I'm going to add some members. I'm going to add a few of our tech members. And at the time, um, right now they have full access to this folder. So that means that they can manage the members, they can upload, edit, delete all files. If I gave them edit access, I would be the only one that would be allowed to add members or delete members. They would only be allowed to edit files and upload new files. There's also comment access and view access. So whoever creates the original team folder will be able to set this membership permission. Right now I'm going to keep it at full for both. If I wanted to send them a message letting them know that they've been added to this folder, I would enter it here. But for time's sake, I'm going to skip that part. Now as the folder is being added, you'll see that it's open. I can add files here. If I go to my members, let's say I change my mind and decide that I want Ruth to only be able to comment. I can go in and change her access. Now Sarah is still a full working accessing member so she could go in and even change Ruth back or do anything that she needs to do adding other members. So click done. So now let's say I wanted a new document. So go in and open a document. This document is now automatically shared with Ruth and Sarah. So I'm just going to give it a quick name so I can go into my sharing privileges. So when I click on share, I can now add people to this document. I could I could share this document with Laura. She won't be able to access the folder, the video folder that I made, but she would be able to still share and collaborate on this document. I can give her priv different privileges as well that will not affect the folder, the team folder. If you look on who already has access, let me cancel this. If you look who already has access, you'll see that I don't need to share it with Sarah and Ruth because they already have access because it's in that video folder. So when you're moving documents around from previous documents that you've made in your drive, when you move them into these collaboration folders and team drives, anyone who you originally shared that document with, it'll still be on there, but they won't have access to this big team drive folder. If you are to add a new folder in here, this folder cannot be shared differently than the access that you have granted for the big folder. Notice that the share feature has been crossed out. So this folder has the same exact permissions for each of the members that the large folder video here has. So make sure you think about that when you're making and creating folders. This is the big idea and the main features for the new team drives. This is great for collaborating, using it for departments, or even um, as we get working, maybe we will have the students use this feature as well. If you need more help, make sure that you click the available links that are provided in Google.